It's the opening night of the annual Busan Film Festival. Many of South Korea's finest are here for the event. And the man all these people are waiting for is preparing to make an entrance. South Korean actor and heartthrob Lee Byung-hun. He's dominated this country's film industry for more than two decades, starring in some 20 soap operas and more than a dozen films. From the villain in the kimchi western drama, The Good, The Bad, The Weird, <laughs> to a mob member seeking revenge in A Bittersweet Life. <laughs> Byung-hun is admired for his method acting. His appeal transcends borders and has even been transformed into a video game character. Who are you? Last year, he became the first Korean actor to break into mainstream Hollywood with his role as Storm Shadow in G.I. Joe. You're here for the premiere of your new film, mm -hmm. I Come With The Rain. Mm -hmm. You start alongside Josh Hartnett and Japanese star Takuya Kimura. Tran Ong Hong's uh, directing style is, is quite unique. I believe he allowed the actors to direct themselves. Was that, right. was that challenging or was it liberating? At first, it was a little uh, awkward for me, uncomfortable, mm -hmm. because his directing was a little unique and different. One day, uh, when, I'm, when I was shooting some scene, um, there was no lines and there was no directing. He asked me to do what I want to do. You can walk around, you can touch everything, you can say something. At first, I was a little awkward, but um, as time goes by, I felt so comfortable and I felt um, some catharsis yeah. at the time. And um, that was later, uh, I could tell it was a really good uh, um, way to direct. Were you proud of your work? I'm trying to think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. You made your Hollywood debut in the action film G.I. Joe. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose this vehicle to launch yourself in the United States? When I first heard about G.I. Joe from my uh, agent, uh, I didn't know what it was. So, mm -hmm. so um, I refused it at first. But everybody told me to do it because it's going to be so huge and it's going to be a huge uh, opportunity to go there. So, um, one of my really good friend, uh, Park chan who made uh, Old Boy, uh, he uh, advised me, uh, if you really want to go to Hollywood, then uh, why don't you choose it? That would be a really good chance to do it. So, um, that advice was so helpful to me. Is it your ultimate goal to crack Hollywood? No, I, I actually uh, didn't think about to go Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Even a few years ago, nobody thought it happened because it's just a dream for Korean actors. Nowadays, it's not a dream anymore. It's reality. Your career started in soap operas. I think you've starred in more than 20 soap operas here in, in South Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about the country's obsession with soap operas. I think Korean drama uh, tend to show the real life. Uh, even though it's just a small thing, small emotions, small uh, twist but still they really love it because the drama is like their life. Why do you think Asia is so obsessed with South Korean pop culture? The Korean drama is still talking about the family things, their love, their hate. They could feel the old emotions. That's why uh, the Japanese people, Chinese people like Korean dramas. And the songs normally include a lot of sadness, 
in Korea. In Korea. Your first big film, Joint Security Area, directed by Park Chan Wook. Mm. Did you ever think it was going to be as big as what it was? No, I don't think so because uh, nobody uh, estimate mm. uh, about the result when they're filming it. Mm. Of course, I did it too. So we're surprised by the the amount of the audience and uh, that movie made me so popular and famous in Korea so I was really thankful to Mr. Park. Well, the film was based on tension between North and South Korea and I believe it was the first film that portrayed North Koreans in a good way. Mm. How did you feel being involved in, in such a project? That's the point that I liked. Uh, it's not about the uh, ideology or something like that. It's not political things. That movie tells about the human. Do you miss being anonymous? Are there ever days that you wish that you could just walk down the street and go unrecognized? What I really wanted to do was uh, driving taxi. Oh. I uh, borrowed a taxi from my friend he was the boss of the taxi uh, company and I borrowed the taxi and I drive it like a uh, few days. It was so fun and so interesting experience. So you were picking up people and taking yeah. them? Yeah, but nobody recognized me because I, I was hiding everything. How did it feel for those couple of days being normal, being anonymous? It was so interesting and uh, that was so weird experience to me because I'm used to be uh, live in act live uh, as an actor, so um, that was strange to me.